Hello, 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 welcome to Art is Dead. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Bueno, una de las razones por las que practico street performance es porque pienso que debe existir arte participativo y que también de una manera, de cierta manera sea un arte público, ¿no? que no esté sujeto a una entrada. Um, eso es lo que pienso de trabajar en las calles, que al final uno se transforma en un trabajador um, que busca la libertad, ¿no? que busca de irrumpir en espacios que no, que no contienen un contexto netamente comercial. Um, si bien yo vivo de esto, no lo practico por la estabilidad económica que puede llegar a generar, ¿no? sino más bien lo practico por el impacto que puede tener sobre las personas que participan uh, sin querer de un show <ríe> gratuito y que busca solamente el entretenimiento, ¿no? en un espacio, en un fragmento de segundo que es la cotidianidad que se vive diariamente al conducir por las calles de, de esta ciudad ¿no? y por las calles del mundo también solo que aquí no es muy común eso hace que el street performance y el street art sea más necesario que nunca ¿no? es lo que yo pienso We can discover a common place, a public space, a place that nobody is the owner, but everyone is the owner. You know what I mean? Something like that. For me in Spanish it sounds beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if in English. But yeah, I think that is a first reason because I'm a street performer on I just started maybe one year ago and for me it was a huge discovery of my life, you know, because um, I'm an actor, I'm a writer, um, I direct theater and I try to produce, you know, cultural stuff. But when I started for first time to performing on the street, it was so scary was so scary yeah because you have all the cars you know you have all your emotion because you are super exposed on the street you are super exposed you don't have that security that you have on theater I mean you know it's like a different kind of security because you have a team you have people with you on the street you are alone for yourself <laughs> and that is very funny because you need to face your fear um, you fear to fail because when I'm do juggling I try to do my best I don't like to I don't, I don't like to lose the control of my instrument but when I do I face myself on the fail on the fail side you know so so I don't know if I explain myself, but that is one of the huge um, notions that I have about the street performance. 
the street performance is super necessary. More in this time, you know, with um, with pandemia, with um, COVID-19, the life sometimes suck. But we need to discover another thing, you know, <laughs> just get fun and try to um, smile. Yeah, sometimes it's difficult. It's super difficult. But I try to think that when I'm on the street performing. I'm trying to share with you what the body can do, you know, what the, the practice can do, um, the discipline. When you get discipline, you can do a lot of different stuff. You can change a lot of things in your life. Um, yeah, that is one of the best gifts that, that the people, the audience showed to myself. Um, yeah, I discovered that, yeah, I discovered that art is beautiful. Well, this is my instrument, it's a handmade devil stick, um, and yeah, I know something about it, but I think I can explain the meaning of the devil stick on ancestral culture, maybe then in another video. But I try to think that I'm singing <laughs> when I played this. So, yeah, let's see what can I do. I think it's risky, it's risky when you see all the cars that are around, maybe 
can be scary, but you know, I really believe that it's not more dangerous, for example, that the work that our community of immigrants here in the United States that work, you know, on farm uh, without conditions, you know, properly for some work um, for less payment. And I think that is most risky than work on the street. Um, of course, my, my work is, you know, it's dangerous, but there is more dangerous work, I believe. Well, I always think about the impact that an artist or worker of the art can have, you know, in the community. And I really believe that when you show your art in public, when you create something for common people, not thinking about entering a festival or make some money, you know, when you really think about something, easy, something simple, simple like a smile, you know, and I try to, every day that I come to work, um, I try to bring with me the smile, my smile, my own smile, and share that smile with someone that maybe need, or maybe not, but who cares, you know? I'm just trying to share in my smiles, my smiling, me smiling. So for me, street art uh, is super necessary. More in this time, you know, that we have this pandemic around us. Um, and, and we, we must, must to face it. it. And, and that, that is what the street performers do. We face the indifference, and we face our fear, and yeah, I think we have courage <laughs> for do that, you know? Like every day, it's a different day, always it's a different audience, and that makes this work more interesting for me. Because every day, I don't know, I show my performance to maybe 2,000 people, easy, you know? So, that is something that I really like it, you know? Show my work to so many people and they are so super different <laughs> because first of all, they don't know that they will go in the car, you know, on the way to work or maybe to their homes and in one stop, one red light, they saw a guy, you know, with a clown mask and working with juggling in 20 seconds a show you know that make that can make your day very different <laughs> very unique special um that is what the street performer does you know we bring a unique day um especially me i share my smile you know with you all